जन गण मन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा सिंध हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जल तरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे Jaya 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 in the area of innovation not only we educate our students but also ensure that all the students and faculty you know, try their best in the area of innovation to the extent that we even started calling ourselves the ith as inventing and innovating in technology for humanity that's how we renamed ourselves and we try to see that innovation flow in the bread of all of us and what you see madam what she is going to you know uh, launch today is one such product which has come out of those innovations and uh, i'm sure there are many more which are which are on the way and thanks to the whole the faculty students who have been working hard in bringing out wonderful innovations and ith has been mentoring all of them through various programs i do not want to go into all of them basically because we we would like to listen to madam and uh, get her blessings to ensure that we have more and more great programs in terms of uh, startups just to give you an idea that though we are just about 12 years old uh, uh, it hyderabad we have more than 100 startups more than 200 patents and these startups have already started earning more than 100 crores and given jobs to more than about 800 people just to give you a flavor of how the innovation system is at in india we are also starting a school of uh, entrepreneurship innovation and entrepreneurship thanks to our beloved bhimoji uh, chairman mohan reddy garu who is uh, contributing financially for that about 20 crores he has donated to IIT Hyderabad to start this school of entrepreneurship and innovation. And under that school, we ensure that many more such innovative ideas are nurtured and mentored through the faculty members. With those few words, thank you very much once again. Welcome to all of you for this wonderful program for which we are waiting for. Thank you. So uh, the moment has come that uh, we uh, offer in the hand of public the most innovative, one of the most innovative products that CFSC has come up with. So now I invite uh, Mr. Rajas and Mr. Sharil, uh, the founders of the company Aerovirus, to arrange for the unveiling of the product given light. Hi. 
Honorable Governor of uh, Telangana and Puducherry, Timati Dr. Tamil Sai Samdarajati, Professor uh, B.S. Purti, Director of uh, IIT Hyderabad, Mr. Uh, Hanumant Rao, District Collector, Mr. Ramana Kumar, the Superintendent many other uh, dignitaries on the DAS, off the DAS, and good afternoon to all of you. At the outset, let me uh, extend a very warm welcome to uh, the Honorable Governor, who is uh, coming to our campus for the first time. Very warm welcome to you, Amma. Again, a round of applause to uh, our Honorable Governor. But what you see here is all built uh, in the last uh, say eight, nine years. Uh, it was barren land of 6,000 acres that was given to uh, IAP. Uh, right from the state government gave it to us. But give us another two uh, years uh, from now, maybe 12 months because of the COVID that we got a little bit uh, slowed down. But otherwise, you see a beautiful <laughs> campus which is world class. And to uh, give you a few little uh, uh, statistics, uh, Madam Governor, is that we house 4,000 students in this campus right now. We have uh, 250 uh, PhD scholars who teach in this uh, IIT. We are also uh, trying our best to bring in more amount of diversity and inclusion. 15% of our students are um, uh, women, and we have 20% of our faculty are also women. We certainly stand out on those uh, numbers. Madam Governor, this is one of the newer IITs, which is called Gen 2 IITs. Uh, with humility, I, I will also share with you, I belong to Gen 1 IIT. I graduated from IIT Kanpur way back in the 70s. But this, uh, these are the second generation IITs that came in. But the second generation IITs, which are 13 years old, and 10 of them got started off. Trust me, this is the best. You can go ahead and look at any way whether it's NIRF rankings, the QS rankings, whichever are the ARIA rankings. In every ranking, uh, we are the best. So certainly the credit does not go to me. It goes to the director, the faculty, and the students. And we have a lot of applause. Amazing stuff you have, and we will continue to do this. Let me then move on and congratulate um, the uh, Smart uh, the Jivan Light, the Smart Medical ICU Ventilator, which has been done by Aerobiosis. Uh, the team is here. Uh, congratulations to uh, all of you who have done this. It's an amazing uh, technology that's been built into it. They'll talk about it in a little while. We originally thought they'll start uh, talk ahead of me, but it's okay. They'll start talk uh, thereafter. But I think what I think what I like to say is. This is the future for all of us. I'm sure some of you are familiar that I also uh, play a very important role in NASCOM. Um, and uh, we have named this decade as Tech Aid. It's technology which will be the key driving force. To the extent we feel very delighted, the Prime Minister, uh, Sri Narendra Modi, used this word again in his speech uh, on startups on 21st of January 2021, calling this uh, decade as decade. We think there'll be an enormous amount of progress will happen in technology, never seen before by mankind. And especially there are five mega trends that we are seeing at this point of time. The first mega trend is all to do with um, the healthcare and well-being of mankind. That's one trend that will happen. Technology will come and help us in terms of making life much more, um, uh, much more efficient, much longevity. All these things will come into play. And the second one is we'll also see more amount of uh, smart operations, uh, which will do uh, with more amount of mobility. Uh, you'll see more amount of driverless cars and so on and so forth. And the third one is on uh, the um, uh, communications. The 5G will be a reality. 
my good friends in the, our communication department talked to me saying that mr reddy you're outdated 6g is what we need to talk about that's what the future is like and that is where we are doing research right now so that's the third mega trend and the fourth one is about sustainable businesses and the fifth is all about uh, the uh, space it's called the meta mobility and the space related work but at least three out of these five there is enormous amount of work done by iit hyderabad in uh, what we see as healthcare devices that's number one number two in terms of mobility and the third one is on communication these are the trends which will differentiate us lastly what i will say is that all this will lead into one thing is that longevity of people will increase i'm sure you heard this in the past in the last 500 years the average lifespan of a human being has gone up by 30 years which means the technology is helping them to improve the longevity for every 17 years of research the longevity of a human being has gone up by 1 year what we believe is it doesn't require 17 years any longer a good example of that is what we did with the uh, vaccines traditionally vaccines in the world took 10 years to develop what happened with covid vaccine it took less than a year it was 11 months start to finish for mrna vaccine to come by so i think there's an enormous amount of opportunity and we like to commit to our honorable governor or all the dignitaries here will continue to work in these areas to make sure that the mankind will benefit from these technologies certainly yes i think what is more passionate to me in my life is all about entrepreneurship so we'll create this uh, school of innovation and entrepreneurship equally important is that there are two other major initiatives that are happening there is technology innovation uh, center tip no tip tip uh, is technology innovation program uh, uh, pa 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 sorry pa technology innovation part and we also have trp which is technology research part now you look at the combination of research will lead into innovation innovation then has to lead into an entrepreneurship a combination of these three things will bring more amount of prosperity to everyone around us thank you very much madam governor for being with us this uh, morning thank you very much for the our team which has done this amazing device and good luck to all of you thank you thank you So there's a word such blessings from our the head of the, our family i invite the founders mr rajesh and mr salil to come forward and demonstrate the word for the owners thank you everyone uh, for attending this launch first of all i'd like to thank the dignitaries on the dais and all those who have been present here for the launch so to talk about our journey i'll just try to be very crisp Aerobiosis back in 2018, we came up with this idea. Uh, we spent long hours in ICU to identify this problem of respiratory care before even COVID came in. We found, yeah, like me and my co-founder Cyril Anthony, we came up with this idea. We saw a four-year-old child suffering for, uh, like he was not able to breathe. He was brought in with a pneumonia condition, and then we we identified the lack of ventilator, the the shortage of ventilator in Indian healthcare system. We went to Renu sir, uh, who was the chair of CFHE. is like if we want to make solve this problem is it i mean we really want to solve this so i said it's a really competitive field if you want to get in you need to come up with some innovations that's when we uh, covid came in and then uh, we were working on a separate device as well as first differential lung ventilation system uh, but covid came in and then we uh, pivoted to a different system called the jeevan light what you see right now here it's a smart iot based low cost ventilator for indian healthcare system it can be used for uh, even in rural setup that's our dream to take an icu care facility to a rural or a semi urban setup and this whole program i mean we had multiple partners who came in between starting from byrac department of science and technology department of biotechnology usaid ip global samrit program so it's a huge journey who has been and uh, if i am missing out jcb india private limited through the csr funding and hdfc too so it's like it's not just one uh, uh, one team which has worked through there is a background there are multiple people who trusted us and then that's how what you see as a final outcome that's what we see over here so now i would uh, like ask uh, mr cyril anthony to explain about the product who's the cto of the company thank you so much um good afternoon everyone uh, as my co-founder rajesh has said 
this is a wonderful chance for us to establish our voice here in the presence of honorable governor uh, dr stream of tamil tamil say sounder rajan ma'am it's very grateful to have you here ma'am and other dignitaries here thank you so much for this opportunity so quickly coming to this device uh, so we had this idea before covid uh, so we started working on the engineering part of the device way right before the covid so we solved almost uh, the entire challenges whatever the other companies are facing and right now the semiconductor industries are facing there is a whole set of shortage of semiconductors so we overcome those problems and right now the device is ready over here so coming up to the what is what is this problem it's going to solve us basically the need of ventilation at a rural care so we have engineered the device with the best minds of iit hyderabad and the associated clinicians with so this device currently has all the modes of ventilation which are necessary to ventilate a covid starting from a covid to ards copd and other any other lung related para, uh, uh, disease conditions so starting with uh, so it has a 10.1 inch of uh, touch screen so you can see here uh, so you can see here uh, basically so there is a 10.1 inch of touch screen which is completely integrated so yeah. we can also see sure. Like yeah. towards the bedroom, so that yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so coming in, it has a 10.1 inch of touch screen where you can see the intuitive UI, which covers all the necessary clinical parameters of the ventilator, starting from the peak inspiratory pressure to the peak, uh, the positive expiratory end pressure to the respiratory rate, and other clinical parameters have been covered here, and it has a 4.5 hours of inbuilt battery backup. So in, so in any kind of a transportation, this device can be used, uh, especially from transporting COVID patients from hospital to hospital, or in a home care setup, or in different situations, like emergency situations, we can uh, trust this device upon. And it has the universal mode, such as CMD, that is uh, mandatory modes of ventilation, and uh, synchronous uh, mandatory modes of ventilation, the same modes. With, which has both pressure and volume control modes which are available and uh, it has also diagnostic uh, clinical parameters that is spo2 which is which uh, everyone knows which is, which is very essential in uh, covid treating uh, cases and it has a humidifier setup also which in terms of fao2 conservation when it is addressed to the patient you can uh, I have a go to enrich treatments to the patients, sir. And uh, it is uh, the synchronous between the patients. Usually, the ventilator basis are asynchronous. So, you set up a respiratory rate which goes asynchronous with the patient's breathing effort, which happens uh, mostly in the COVID cases. So, we have come up with a smart synchronous method which senses the patient's figure using the proximal flow synchronous which are attached to the nearby the lung. So, this is the lung you can see here. Yeah? So, this is the proximal center attached to the proximal end of the lung. So, then uh, the sensing of the uh, patient. So when the patient, a COVID patient, especially a COVID patient, when he's trying to take a breath, and that is a spontaneous breath, the sensors easily detect them and able to give them the proper tidal volume which is required by the patient. And uh, much more features are the uh, real-time lung uh, parameters. You can get it from the compliance to the resistance of the lung, uh, other clinical parameters are obtained over here. So uh, the, uh, and it has a special uh, quick start function. Which is, uh, you can set up the ventilator within 10 seconds of the initial standby mode. So, right now I'm just resuming the ventilation part. So, you can see here uh, the set parameters are being displayed over here on the left side of the display, and the right side gives all the lung parameters. And you can see a dynamic lung over here, which is uh, in synchronous to the lung breathing pattern. And it has a G1 Connect app. Which connects with this ventilator and from remote access doctors can see the patient's clinical status. What is the FEO2? What is the other kind of data? So, what is the different stance? Uh, this different uh, this image stands different to the other devices of that. So it has a mechanism, which is not just a therapeutic device, but is a device which starts from diagnostic to end of breathing. So we come in a flow actually. So what happens is when a patient comes into the hospital, we start getting their diagnostic details, right? Like X-ray images, CT images, and other lung related data like arthritis, radiology values. Then we start treating them. So based on the treatment, we again input the analysis data. So how preventively we can uh, recover them from the ventilators. So uh, protect them from still damaging the lung. So that is how the uh, device has been engineered. Now. So as a closing point, uh, so this device has. Uh, the complete setup has been uh, made in a uh, DGRC from India and very manual parts have been sourced from outside. So the scalability and manufacturing is been really easy over here and uh, this can be scaled faster and uh, already we are uh, into the production of 200 ventilators. 
And in the end of the long, uh, long product launch, uh, we will be handing over 10 terminals to the Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thank you once again for everyone for attending this talk from the And once again, uh, one small thing I think Cyril missed out. This wouldn't have been possible without the uh, like days and nights. The whole team was working from last two years. So I would like all of you to please clap for the team, which is button under. Thank you. Thank you, team. And uh, wishing you good luck for the future. <laughs> I hope it surpasses the millions of likes and spares millions of spines. Now I invite uh, Dr. Satish Reddy, who is online, to share a few words of wisdom. Uh, Namaskar, Honorable Governor of uh, State of Telangana and Puducherry, Dr. Tamil Sai Sundar Rajan. Dr. B. V. R. Mohan Reddy, the Chairman, Board of Directors, IIT Hyderabad, Professor V. S. Murthy, Director, IIT Hyderabad, and uh, the District Collector, and all others who are presented, and most importantly, the representatives from Aerobiosis, Mr. Rajesh Tangwell and Mr. Cyril Anthony, and all others. Very good afternoon and Namaskar. My heartiest congratulations to IIT Hyderabad on developing this low-cost IoT-based ventilator and working with the industry and industry ready to produce them in the quantities now. Um, Professor B.S. Murthy has been actually, since he took over as a director of IIT Hyderabad, he has been actually pursuing this development of the ventilator as ventilator has become very essential requirement during the COVID pandemic. And uh, once he took over, we should develop a low cost ventilator, which will be made available to the common man and also at all the places, particularly in the rural areas. Uh, as you know, many people in the country have worked on the ventilator. And a couple of years back, if you look at the country was almost not having a ventilator except one or two industries were developing uh, some ventilator. But in the year 2020, when Honorable Prime Minister has formed a group of secretaries to create the necessary medical infrastructure which is required to fight the COVID. So we, one of the group of secretaries, we have actually taken up this task and then uh, uh, funded many institutions and tried to develop the ventilator. One is where uh, DRDO and Bharat Electronics Limited have worked together to develop a high-end ICU ventilator and has produced about 30,000 ventilators in that pandemic period and delivered by 14th August 2020. And then there are a couple of other organizations also like Agwa and then Jyoti, all these people have produced and then uh, close to about 50,000 plus ventilators were made available in the country. But then the ventilator's requirement still is, is uh, even today, is an essential requirement and also the quantities are not sufficient for the, the type of hospitals we have and the patients what we have and then, and we are not very sure still today, the COVID pandemic is still vanished and again going to come in a form, some form or other is to be seen. So at this time, uh, IIT Hyderabad coming out with this and uh, with the industry aerobasis is very good. And uh, I'm sure that all the clinical trials and everything will be, uh, some have been done and fully will be completed and then the approvals necessary which are required will be taken up. And I, I provide any necessary help in this direction required to IIT Hyderabad, either from DRDO side or also as part of the group of secretaries here, uh, we will try to take it forward, this ventilator, to see that it is approved and then it will be uh, made available to the nation. And IIT Hyderabad, particularly, we have been working very closely. And uh, particularly, Professor Bhumbhuti, right from his days of IIT Chennai, we have been working on various uh, uh, topics, particularly in the metallurgy area with him, and then various other issues and other uh, uh, image processing and other things related, artificial intelligence related things with IIT Hyderabad. And uh, 
particularly the role of IIT Hyderabad in the Vaithav program, the Vaishvik Bharti Vajnan Samayana which has happened, which Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji has inaugurated and keep, shown key interest in actually having all the eminent personalities, eminent accommodations, academicians and professors to join on one platform, IIT Hyderabad has played a major important role. And particularly we uh, have started a vertical of our research in Hyderabad, IIT Hyderabad, part of IIT Chennai. And we try to make it an independent center of excellence in the coming future at IIT Hyderabad with the DRDO. And we'd like to work on many future projects with you and uh, definitely like to utilize as uh, DRDO has a major presence in IIT Hyderabad, in, in Hyderabad, city of Hyderabad, all the missile complex, the electronic warfare, materials, research laboratories and lasers related laboratories are located in Hyderabad. And um, they will definitely try to utilize your um, expertise in these areas and try to pursue the fundamental research and translational research with IIT Hyderabad. And uh, we will work together in the future. And my best wishes to you and best wishes to Aerovasis and to the entire people of uh, IIT Hyderabad. And thank you very much and Jai Hind. Namaskar. Uh, sometimes the word may not suffice in elaborating the contribution that some people make to the society. Uh, likewise, in the case of our chief guest today, uh, Her Excellency Dr. Tamil Sai Sandhiragan, the Governor of Telangana State and the Lieutenant Governor of Puduke. Uh, I welcome you, ma'am. A special good afternoon to each and everyone here. Dr. C. G. Satish Ritigaru, Secretary of Defense, Chairman DRDO, Prof. B. S. Murthigaru, Director IIT Hyderabad, Dr. BVR Mohan Redigar, Chairman, IIT Hyderabad, eminent scientists, esteemed media friends, beloved participants, and the, what's the name of both of you? Yes, sir. Sharil. Sharil. Rajesh and Sharil and his team, and all the students, faculty members, media friends, Security personnel, special good afternoon to you all. I feel privileged to be here at the prestigious Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. And I appreciate Sri Mohadadi Garu for initiating the School of Excellence in the IAT and your contribution, really complementary to this institution. And I appreciate Professor B. S. Murthy Gar. But for a leader like him, and I forgot the character and the <laughs> Welcome you all. But for a leader like uh, B. S. Murthy Gar, it wouldn't have been possible. And I when I landed here. Sorry for the delay because I straight away landed the airport and went to a green energy conference and from there straight away I am coming here. I didn't even go to the house, Raj Bhavan, because I was so much interested to come here and no any other innovation, invention would have made me happy as the innovation of the ventilator, as a doctor. After the pandemic period, Midnight, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, early morning, 4 o'clock, panic calls the other end says, we want a bed with ventilator. My father, mother, friend gasping for want of ventilator. So this, uh, hearing those word, words, 2 o'clock, I even when I have Twitter messages, 24 hours large woman was working. And whenever we had a message, even sleepless nights, not only the patients, doctors, administrators, the most wanted call was a bed with ventilator. So, no any other invention or innovation for which you called me to the prestigious institute of IIT Hyderabad would make me happy. 
but for such an invention. But I pray God you invent more, but we will exhibit it. We should not be made into use. That is for prayer also. Patients should not, because we are inventing, so the, the patient should all be hale and healthy. Uh, uh, to take care and to give confidence to the doctors, let it be beside the bed. But I pray God, there should not be a, a situation, this ventilator should be used so that everyone should be hale and healthy, particularly we should not face a situation like pandemic. And I appreciate these youngsters. They told, we started inventing these ventilators before the pandemic situation and because the uh, in youngsters like researchers, scientists and the institution, institutions work like that. Compared to any other country, we were able to combat the situation more successfully when compared with any other even developed countries because of the continuous consistent efforts of our medical fraternity scientists and other technological people. And we were dreaming for a situation where we can produce medical equipment because as a doctor when I passed my post graduation before my post graduation I went for a training for ultrasound fetal therapy then when I got by applying a loan I got a small ultrasound machine and I was using it and I was using for poor patients also but when when one part went out of order I happened to wait for more than four months to get it imported from Japan. So that was the situation we were facing. But now Indians, Indian innovations because of our thanks to our Honorable Prime Minister's motivation, Startup India, Stand Up India, Self-Reliance India. So because of that we are motivated and we are producing indigenous medical equipment hats off to the technology as well as the scientists as a humble doctor I compliment you because we know the sufferings of the patient and as doctors we know the sufferings of getting a small simple part from abroad in a, a equipment which is important so I really compliment you and apart from that we, we are, during our younger days as medical students we didn't see any indigenous equipment. In a lighter sense, I used to tell a story. We were fascinated about the equipments which are imported. Even if it is indigenous, we when compare our indigenous uh, product and when imported product, we always get fascinated about that. So in a lighter sense, I used to tell a story. One uh, foreign return person got into an auto. Then yeah, the bus crossed. Then he told, no, no, what is this bus in Telangana? Ida? Very slowly it's going in, in, in abroad, America and all, very, it will go very fast. Then one lorry was uh, passing by, then he told, what is this lorry? He said, going very slow. If it is in America, so it will go very fast. The engines are very fast like that. So like that he was commenting. So this auto brother went to the destination and then when he got down, he told me, give me 400 rupees. Then that traveler got uh, excited and got worried and he told, what is this short duration only I traveled, you are asking me 400 rupees. Then that auto brother told, this auto is made in India but this uh, meter made in America. So it went very fast. So, 400 so this is the pattern, you are not excited, so when you tell America, America, so when it pinches you, pricks you, you know the uh, pain of it. So, it, so we were all dreaming, uh, I, I also, Lord of our Honorable Prime Minister and the state government, we have crossed 180 crore of indigenous vaccine. I have taken my indigenous vaccine which is produced in my country, which we were dreaming of that situation which uh, we didn't think about it even during our younger days. So, because of the institutions and our uh, uh, Professor B. S. Murthy Garu and uh, uh, Dr. B. V. Uh, Mohan Reddy Garu were very proud about this institution. When they were telling this uh, uh, 4,000 uh, 4, students, 4,000 students, one third of them are M. Tech, one third of PhD, and one third of B. Tech. And uh, Professor Murthy told, I am 
maintaining the reservation. So I have to to you because it is uh, very difficult to, to maintain such a percentage and proportion. And they are very proud about that TRT uh, uh, te technology of uh, research park and uh, innovation park TIP and TRP. So because of TIP, that TRP is raising. I have to say, but in a, if, it, if it is a television mode, it's a beard. And I, I should say, TIP means they are technological innovation park. And as governor, I, I should say, Telangana Institute of Pride. This is the uh, I, 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 I can say, I can say it in such a way. And as a doctor, we were longing for such innovations and inventions. And I really uh, appreciate the students and uh, and my appeal is because we are not of the pandemic. Uh, we may face the fourth wave, but we cross the second wave and third wave. In spite the whole world was suffering to combat the virus, we could manage in much better way because of our innovations and our research, short-term research, as uh, Mohan Redigar told you, to invent one vaccine, it will take more than two years, three years, but within 11 months, we invented our vaccine. Because of our expertise in our uh, of our scientists and the motivation from the government, and I should say, I my appeal is to the students: please go for research activities. If you may be in the first year, and uh, some of the seniors are your staff may not include you in the uh, research, but uh, you go and tell them, uh, add my name, at least fourth name or fifth name. I will just uh, at least write notes for you. Please add so please add your researches, presentations, publications. So now it's the need of the hour. Uh, and first pandemic as doctors, we were unable to form a protocol to treat the patients. But after experience, we are seeing the patients, then we formed the protocol. And first we thought it's only lungs affected, then we thought heart affected, then blood vessels affected. But because of the continuous research activities. We could come out with a good protocol. So when compared with other countries, uh, we were able to combat the virus in much better way and most successful way. So it, the pride goes to institutions like IFT Hyderabad and DRDO. DRDO also helped us a lot uh, in, uh, in producing the PPEs. Initially, we imported the PPE and then we produced the PPE. And I'm very proud that even though the uh, Telangana is the pharmaceutical hub, India became the pharmaceutical capital and we exported medicines for more than 150 countries, which was once sold a poor country. Now it's a developed country, developing country. So even the developed countries were looking forward for our medicines and for our vaccination and for our equipments. So I'm really very happy to be here and you all uh, should be very hungry. But in spite of that, my uh, mind and stomach is full because after seeing the ventilators, so like this innovations, good in small, small innovations. So let us all today think that in, in any way, in a simpler way also, in a small way also, we should contribute in research or in complementing the research activities so that we will take part in the challenges which is going to be faced by the country the world, even in the future conditions. We are not, as I said, as a doctor, I can say we are not of pandemic. We may face fourth wave, we may have some other forms of pandemic, but continue your innovations and continue your inventions so that let us all be healthy and healthy. My prayers are whatever may be the situation we face, but everyone should be safe, everyone should have a long life. But when I see about the instruments, my appeal is. Please take nutritious food. Look after your health also. Please improve your, not only inventions, your immunity also. So, <laughs> improve your immunity also. That also I can say. So, please uh, take our traditional food because our traditional foods are uh, rich in uh, yeah, creating immune to our body. So, we are practiced to that type of uh, life pattern. So, be happy, healthy. I do yoga every day morning, meditation, apart from your profession. But why I am telling professional, including me, always ignore the health. So please 
concentrate your health as well as concentrate on the innovations and inventions and be happy and always exemplify in your life by doing something unique in your life. You should not be ordinary, you should not should be extraordinary in your efforts so that your country is much uh, proud about you and your talent should be useful to the country. As our Honorable Prime Minister always says, and I have written a book of PM and PM, which says Prime Minister in the pandemic management because of this, he motivated not only the medical fraternity, he motivated the technology as he uh, as he said, uh, technology, uh, digital, going digital and everything because of our innovations. We are very proud that as, as a country, we could manage the virus more successfully than any other country. My hats off to you, the invention innovators. And I really appreciate your presence here. Thank you so much. I feel that the auto driver of your story has given a very strong message to all of us so that we become even more committed towards leveraging technology uh, to keep on inventing and innovating impactful products and services. That way, I'm sure we'll be able to realize our Prime Minister's vision of Arthur Nirbhar Bharat self like India. Thank you so much. Now, now I request Rajesh to take Thank you, Dr. Sai. Uh, so now we will hand over the uh, first 10 units to uh, Governor Ma, uh, which will be uh, handed over to the Telangana and Pondicherry government. And this has been funded by, uh, we have Mr. Uh, Himanshu from USAID. Uh, he is a director of Pahal Project Samrit, uh, under Samrit. Uh, he would like to speak a few words and then we'll hand it over the uh, 10 units which we plan to give it to the Telangana and Pondicherry government. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Pandit. Dr. Reddy, uh, Director of IT, Hyderabad, and other dignitaries of the Dais, as well as online. Uh, it gives us a immense pleasure uh, to be part of this journey that Aerovices has uh, done over the last couple of years in developing uh, the Jeevan Line device. And uh, this support has uh, come through the Samrat Blended Healthcare Financing Facility, which has been supported by USAID and is in collaboration with. Uh, National Health Authority, Niti Aayog, Adal Innovation Mission, as well as the Office of the Principal Scientific Advisor. And ma'am, the goal of this initiative is primarily to support innovators like Aerobiosis, scale up their operations, provide them the required funding support to scale up their work and reach the vulnerable populations, tier 2, tier 3 towns as well as rural areas. Uh, we have been doing this and Besides AWS is now supported another 22 innovations across the country coming from eminent institutions like IIT Hyderabad. And uh, we have been really glad to be part of this journey and to contribute to the betterment of healthcare in the country. Thank you, ma'am. Maybe you can ask your whole team, Karen, to Honorable Governor of Telangana and Honorable National Governor of Puducherry, uh, uh, Srimati Dr. Tamil S. Sandar Rajan, uh, Honorable uh, Board of Governors Chairman uh, Dr. B. V. R. Mohan Reddy, uh, our uh, DRDO chairman, uh, Dr. Sadish Freddy, uh, district collector, uh, Sri Agnus Rao, uh, superintendent of police, uh, Sri Ramana Kumar, uh, all the invited guests present here, my colleagues and friends. Uh, in fact, it's a, uh, it's a moment of pride for all of us uh, to be here uh, in this launching function. In fact, it is one of the testimonies for uh, the ecosystem and the and the IT Hyderabad ecosystem that is fostering innovation and uh, development of uh, medical devices and medical device products. Uh, I would like to extend my uh, gratitude to uh, Honorable Governor Sri Mati so the Rajat for gracing this occasion and coming here for the launching, launching this device. Uh, I would like to thank uh, our board of governors, Sri uh, Vivian Mohan Reddy, who have been always dynamic and supporting all our ventures. Uh, we thank our director, uh, Professor 
PS Murthy, uh, who have been extending all the support for the development of this product, even during the extreme lockdown conditions, extending all the support for this uh, product. Uh, so thanks uh, and gratitude to all our clinical partners, uh, company group of medical institutions, uh, NIMS, Hyderabad, uh, Asian Institute of Gastroenterology, for all the clinical testing and validations of this product. Uh, thanks to the funding support from the government, Department of Science and Technology, DVT BIRAC, and our CSR partners, uh, HDFC Limited, uh, the team led by uh, 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 the SDFC team uh, for the corporate relations, and uh, uh, the uh, GSEB private limited who are supporting the development of this project. Uh, I thank uh, all, all of you present here on this occasion. Thank you very much. Punjab, Sindh, Gujarat, Maratha, Dravida, Utkala, Vanga, Vindya, Himachala, Yamuna, Ganga, Utchala, Jaladhi, Taranga, Tava, Shubha, Name, Jage, Tava, Shubha, Ashish, Mage, Gahe Tava Jaya Gatha Janagana Mangala Dayaka Jaya He Bharata Bhagya Vibhata Jaya He Jaya He Jaya He Jaya 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 He